How Coyote Got His Fur Coat by Cat, Nick, and Ben Narrated by Ben In the beginning of this story, Coyote is wandering around and encounters the narrator who is sleeping. Coyote begs to hear a story, disturbing the narrator from his slumber. Say, old timer, sure is a quiet night out here and I'm bored. How about you tell me a story, says Coyote. The narrator is still asleep. Hey, says Coyote. Hey, old timer. The narrator begins to grumble. Now see here, Coyote, I can't always be telling you stories. Always thinking about yourself. Always thinking about your own entertainment. The concept of a fair exchange is clearly over your head. You're going to have to give me something in return for a story, says the narrator. Coyote asks, what do you mean? The narrator rolls over and says, let me teach you the story of Coyote, Old Coyote, and the Trading Post. Old Coyote was bored walking along a creek, splashing in the stream when she hears a big racket. Following her ears, she happens upon a funny looking man hammering together logs and creating a crude storefront. I'm happy to find someone to play with, she asked. What game are you playing? The funny looking man laughed and said, It's not a game. I'm building a trading post. What's that? asked Coyote. A trading post is where we trade things like snack items, souvenirs, utensils, guns, milk, cooking utensils, jewelry. Coyote didn't understand and was looking at a bird anyways. Noticing this, the trader ventured, How about I show you instead? Why don't you bring me something and I'll give you something in return? Coyote thought she might like this game. The trader said, Why don't you fetch me some trees from my fort? So Coyote scampered off, tail out wagon. Wandering through the woods looking for some nice trees to bring back to the trader, Coyote stumbles on her friend Beaver. Hey Beaver, do you want to join in a game with me? I'm really busy, Beaver responds. Come on, it'll be fun. And if you play I get something in return that I can show you. Beaver isn't really sure what Coyote is talking about, but agrees to help, just so he can get back to having some peace and quiet. Beaver chomps through all the trees in sight, and Coyote and Beaver can hardly carry them back. They return to the trading post, and Coyote and Beaver unload all the trees at the post. Impressed, the trader says, good doing business with you. A deal is a deal, here you are. And hands Coyote a shiny object on a chain, a golden pocket watch. Coyote is transfixed by the watch for a moment. Wow, this is really nice. I have to show Beaver. Hey, Mr. Trader, have you seen where Beaver went? Trader shuffles in front of a beaver pellet on the wall and says, Nope. Good job, Coyote. You're doing so well. Do you want to play some more? Coyote agreed. She was really enjoying her new watch and decided she liked this trading game. All right. It's getting cold around here and this post is going to need a chimney for the winter. Do you think you and your friends could find some rocks to help me build one? Coyote thought for a second and had an idea. Yeah, I know of some stones that my friends really like. Coyote approaches Buffalo on the prairie. What do you want? says Buffalo. Coyote starts running around Buffalo. Hey! Hey Buffalo! Hey Buffalo! Can you please help me? Buffalo sits quietly chewing. I need one or two of your big stones, the ones you like to scratch your back on. Buffalo likes her stones, but she has lots and is polite, so she says she'll help. As Coyote and Buffalo unload the stones at the post, the trader approaches. Thanks so much for the rock, this will make a great chimney. Were the stones too heavy to carry back? Not for us, says Coyote, as she anticipated her reward. Well, said the trader, as he hands Coyote another shiny object, I've got something in exchange for these stones that will make carrying things much easier from now on. The keys open a brand new Ford truck. Coyote rides her new truck across the prairies. Sick, says Coyote. As Coyote is driving all around, she comes back to the trading post and stops in front of the trader. Is Buffalo still here? I want to give her a ride in my new truck. The trader is wearing his new Buffalo coat. Nope, says Trader. She said she was late going home and would just make it by the skin of her teeth. Okay, says Coyote, and drives off. Coyote is driving along in her truck, now rusty and dirty. 
clunk a dunk a dunk Quick crunk. Suddenly there's a cloud of black smoke. Coyote scurries back to the trading post, wanting to know what happened to her truck. Hey, trader, says Coyote. Something happened to my truck. It's making weird sounds and smoking. The trader replies, sounds like it broke down and needs some work done on it. Coyote says, well then, are you going to fix it? And trader says, that wasn't the deal. It's going to cost you to get it fixed. Coyote replies, well, I don't know what I can get you anymore. I can't find any of my friends. Trader replies, maybe we can still work something out. Say, if you give me that coat of yours, I think I can get your truck up and running again. Coyote replies, my beautiful coat? But I just drew this baby in. It's the spring's hottest look. The trader replies, well, it depends on the price you're willing to pay for convenience. But if you're not game, that's all right. I'm sure the truck will make a nice installation on the field. And walking is such great exercise. Coyote is thinking to herself in a thought bubble. Well, my friends did think my truck was pretty cool and they paid more attention to me when I had it. Okay, trader, you have yourself a deal. The trader replies, great, that truck will be running like new in no time. But first, I'm going to need that coat. Coyote is driving around in her fixed truck, happy as she can be, when she notices her friend Badger. Coyote asks Badger, Hey, did you notice my fancy truck? Badger replies, Not as much as I notice the fact that you don't have a coat. You look terrible and bald, Coyote. Why are you always getting into mischief? Coyote's bald tail hangs in between her legs. Oh well, what am I going to do now? Badger replies, Guess you better find yourself a new coat. Winter will be here soon and you'll freeze. I got a little bit of extra hair you can have here, but it's not much. Maybe enough for your chin. Thanks, Badger, says Coyote. This should do the trick. No, Coyote, you're going to need more fur than that. You better go find some, says Badger. And with that, Coyote heads off in her truck. Vroom, vroom. It's not long before she comes to the forest and finds Squirrel and Deer. Is that you, Coyote, says Deer. You startled me, blinded me with those lights. Oh, yeah, they're coming from my fancy red truck, says Coyote. Squirrel says, Coyote, what have you done now? Coyote replies, well, I tried this game and I think I won, but Badger says I need to find a new coat before it gets too cold. Deer replies, well, Coyote, I can give you a bit of this fur, maybe enough for your nose. And Squirrel replies, yeah, I can give you enough for your tail. Coyote is excited with the new additions to her coat and jumps up into her truck and takes off. As Coyote is driving through the hills, she sees a big figure ahead. It's Bear, exclaims Coyote. He'll help me out. Coyote starts honking her horn to get Bear's attention. Bear is busy eating berries and ignores Coyote. Coyote bounds out of the truck. Hey Bear! Check out my truck! Pretty cool noise it makes, huh? Vroom vroom! Bear replies, sure Coyote. I'm pretty busy though. I have to eat a lot before it gets cold. Coyote says, well, about that, I need some help getting a new coat. See, I played this game that I thought I won, but now I need a new coat to keep warm. Coyote runs around Bear's berry bush and knocking them loose and squishing them. Bear growls, Stop running, Coyote. I will help you out if you go away. Here is some fur that should be enough. Now just leave me in peace while I finish eating. Thanks so much, Bear. See you later, says Coyote. Coyote leans closer to her friend Geese. I can show Geese my new coat. As Coyote approaches in her truck, the geese are really quiet. They must be really surprised by my truck, thinks Coyote. She climbs up to show them her coat, too. The geese look for a minute before erupting into laughter. Coyote, what have you done? You look so silly. Your coat is so scraggly now. When will you ever learn? Well. At least you've learned your lesson. Coyote replies, Yes, I played the trading game, and I won. <laughs>